Hi everyone, it's the Canny Crafter. I'm here with another How to Recycle, Reuse, Repurpose Old Christmas cards. We're going to make some little tidgy ornaments. Like, I didn't realise I had this here. This, using pipe cleaners and Christmas cards, obviously. This was a prototype I made last year and we just didn't get around to it. So, we're going to need pipe cleaners. Um, these are the kind we're going to use. They are chenille pipe cleaners. I think they are called tufted, if you can see. They like puff out in sections. I think you can get these in different sizes. Um, you want to make sure there's at least three tufts that you can use like that and these are the types of cards I'm thinking would work for these because this initial one was um just a, a print on from a digi kit from the digital collage club I went through and I resized elements and it was a a bit of a faff on and last night I had this epiphany you can use Christmas cards for this so I've taken things that aren't too big, but I hope aren't too big. So we have Santa, or I have this deer. I've chosen these people because I think they're cute. Um, I'm not sure about this one, just because I love the card. <laughs> not because that's wrong, just because I love this card. But these are the sorts of things we're looking for this is one of those name tag placeholder things um, I was looking for like elves and gnomes and stuff but I couldn't find any in my stash so hopefully this Christmas I get some cards like that okay so as I say you're gonna need three and we're gonna cut at three and these just scissors goes through this metal really easy and then we're going to cut one off here. Oof. It does work, trust us. We're going to take the double one. I'm sorry, this is just so struggle. You're going to pinch in the middle and fold down. So you have this sort of shape. This single one, you're going to push through into the middle layer. You want to leave a little bit at the top. So just do one twist there and then you want to twist the body round a couple of times and that's your pipe cleaner body you can flay the little flat bits out and make hands and feet and that is it that that is so simple so because this is red it's going to require a center I think this one might be too big a head but it might work let's just try it so we'll just cut its beard I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of Santa <laughs> Oh, it's oversized but I love it so you can use hot glue I'm gonna use the three in one and I'm just gonna put that like over here press that on come in with a dry way take off that excess glue adorable we are going to come back and add some strings. I forgot to get them out. Ta-da! So let's make another Santa because we'll have these three left. So, three. Take one off. Pinch in the middle and fold down. Insert your single through. One twist at the top. 
couple of twists around the body. <laughs> Amazing. Should we put this centre out? Did we have another centre? No. We may also be able to use that snowman. <gasps> Guess what? We managed to see the northern lights with the naked eye last night. It was amazing. First time. <laughs> I just think they're adorable. Even, I do feel like the head may be a little oversized, I'm not going to lie, however. It's fun. Okay, yes. No man next, so we need white. Where did I put them? Right in front of us, I'm looking over there for them, do I have white? Yes. Oh, look at that already in three maybe this is the remnants of that one so again pinch the middle through one little twist at the top a couple of little twists around the body Do I want to keep the scarf? Let's keep the scarf for now. We might just have to trim it down. I'm still going to keep that because we can use that season's greetings and possibly that tree. If I don't want to use the scarf, we can always just cut it off. Like she I feel like I want to keep this. <laughs> oh, that's huge, but. I think I like it. <laughs> Look at very far with a big globule of glue block in there. That's all right. I want to try this reindeer. So let's try and keep the rubber. I feel like this might be too big as well, you know. What? So, I think I'm going to do this out of brown. And I was thinking these could be either ornaments on a tree or you could attach them to presents. And if you notice, I'm not really moving my scissors, I'm moving the card. Okay, let's see how this is going to work. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I think that's cute. What if I put like a little one here? A little Rudolph. Okay, if we did the people, I suppose we could make them out of any colour. Green for her, they match a green. And I don't really want to do red because I like red for Santa. <laughs> We'll do green and we'll do purple. Oh, the smaller ones down here, do we think they're going to be too small? We could probably cut both out and see. believe how easy these are to make you know they kind of look so complicated see I think that one's too small so we'll go for these bigger ones See, I still think that's a little too big, but I'd rather it be comically too big than too small. <laughs> that's my thinking. And plus all the others are a bit oversized, so. But as I say, you could, you know, find some digitals and resize them as best you can. I just think these are adorable. So there you have. <laughs> Your little rain reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> little pipe cleaner people. Right, let's go get some strings. Right, I have my bag of bits and bobs. You can use string, you can use jute, you can use ribbon. I was thinking, oh, maybe I don't have them anymore. No, I was thinking of using, it's like these little foil strands. you get with them um, you know when you buy gift tags that are then salvage into something else I keep those bits just not that and then I want to glue the knot on the back so put a glob of glue and glue that down I've got a bit of ribbon here 
these are normally taken from you know when you get those bits of ribbon inside your tops to keep them on the hanger and they can be really annoying I'll just snip them off <laughs> and see if they're for projects like this with a bit of red yeah I'm not gonna be able to knot you just put a knot in the end a bit of glue If you want, you could put another bit of card over the back of that. If it bothers you. Much fun. Should we do a bit of jute? And as I say, this is just stuff I collect. <laughs> Oops. Didn't do that very well. I actually think these were off. Um, some ornaments that I bought and I want to make into a garland which is currently lined up on the floor behind us <laughs> not going to be a video because you don't you know how to make a garland there's loads of videos about making garlands stick very well maybe we need lots of glue because it's juice and it's just going <sniffs> and one more for this little sandy I do like this juice I just think it's because it's red and white I also brought in some little jennies. I don't know if we can use any of these somehow, so I think, yeah, you're going to be dry enough. We could put a little jenny pearl and this pom pom. I think that might be cute. Let's so you can see the blue residue off. Should probably have my tweezers out. Yeah, that's too big for the tweezers. Just to jazz it up a bit. Okay, what can I add to the snowman? Me red berries, me red berries, me red. Yeah, I'm still going to do it. They're quite big, but I'm just going to put it where those berries are. Again, another pearly pearl. Wait, 
Mm, what about this little lady? It's one thing. Got a couple of green. I'll tell you which glue I'm going to use for this. I'm going to use the PVA. So, I'm using this because it's a fine tip bottle. And these are just little jammies. Since I can have a little pearly pearl. What we're gonna do under me? Oh, what could do his nose? He's got a red nose. It's Rudolph. I forgot. So, move all this stuff out of the way. We have Rudolph, couple of Santas, the happy couple, and Frosty the snowman. And as I said, you can just hang them on a tree, you could put them on parcels. So cute and just really quick and easy little craft. And we're using up our old Christmas cards. So I'll try and find out what these are actually called and I will write it in the description box. I'm sure it's tufted chenille or puffy chenille, something like that. I will have a look, see. Um, and maybe I'll try and link some down below. I can find them reasonably priced. Um, so thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Yay!